Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so I got a question in the comments section of my last video from Ali. He asked, is Japan a watch heaven? I like the way you put that, watch heaven. Um, yes, it is. Uh, there are actually two ways to answer that question. Let me break it down a little bit. Um, as far as watch spotting is definitely a watch heaven. In fact, the guy on the phone behind me is sporting a Rolex Explorer 2 black dial. I was on the train today with a guy. Uh, he had a an Omega chronograph. It wasn't a, a Speedmaster, but it was something. And there was another guy with an AP Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Yeah, I think it was silver and it had like a. It was almost like a bronze bezel. So yeah, I mean you see good watches everywhere. I mean if you're into watch spotting, it's awesome. Um, you know I've always thought that I'd like to take a. Uh, a long lens, a camera, and just ride the train sometime and just go through trying to trying to get wrist shots of people. Um, as far as buying, it's, yeah, I mean, on the second-hand market, on the, on, the, on the new market, I think it's going to be really overpriced, but on the second-hand market, it's fantastic. In fact, if you wanted to get a watch from Japan, I think you would be safe in any country ordering, ordering from Japan. I mean, I think the things I worry about are getting a fake and getting a stolen watch. And you're not gonna have to worry about those things if you go through a brick and mortar uh, pre-owned shop here. And the examples are nice. You know, Tokyo is a great place to go watch shopping. I mean, I last time I went watch shopping, to be honest, the thing that overwhelmed me was the number of watches, the choices. You know, if, if you have your eye on a date just, you're gonna be, so, you're gonna see so many date just that it's almost overkill. It's almost like, wow, there's so many. Do I really even want one? And I think choosing one would be tough too. Uh, but it's a fantastic place to buy used watches. Uh, great examples, very safe. The one thing that I would say is kind of bad is that they really tend to try to predict future classics. So. You'll have watches that that are a little bit rare. Um, one that comes to mind is I want to say it's a Kermit. It's a Rolex uh, G. Uh, sorry, Rolex Submariner. The Kermit with uh, with uh, the green bezel. And the first generation had what they call a Fat Four, meaning everything's the same except for the four is a little fatter. You know, roll, uh, Google Rolex Submariner Fat Four, and and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, I've seen Fat Fours with asking prices of like twenty thousand dollars here. So they're just look. I mean, is it is it is it going to be a collector's item? Maybe, um, but right now, this day and time, twenty thousand. I don't know if that's correct, but I just remember it was really really overpriced. So I think that's the one the one problem I see here that they that they that they tend to try and and uh, jump the gun when it comes to collectible vintage watches and really I mean you're talking when it comes to the Fat Four that's just one example but you know the the, the bezel the four is a little different I mean is that worth ten thousand uh, dollars you know so I think they really jump the gun as far as saying, oh, this is a future classic. Oh, this is a future classic. Uh, I think I think that's a, that's a problem here. Um, but, you know, as far as getting just a generic date just, this would be a fantastic place. Um, you know, uh, but but they do their homework here, meaning they they know exactly what they have. Uh, you know the, the the days, and I think the internet's uh, responsible for this. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't know half what I know if it wasn't for the internet. So, uh, but thanks to the internet, I think a lot of information is out there, and dealers know what they have. And so, um, you know, the watch uh, shops here in Japan. I mean, try coming here and looking for, say, a, a GMT Master Two M serial with the three one eight six movement. I mean, if you do find one here, man, they're gonna have it so overpriced that you're probably better off flying to America and just seeing it in person. Uh, is it a watch heaven? Yes. Um, 
So there you have it. Is it a watch heaven? Yes. Lots of good watches. Watch spotting is, is awesome. I mean, I see good stuff all the time. Uh, so thanks for your question, Ali. Take care. Hopefully this isn't too uh, shaky. I'll see you next time.